this open day right now. He is right here. Perfect. There we go. We're all loaded down and packed up and ready to go to deer camp, baby. Let's go. guys so we're on the way to deer camp for 2024 i'm sure you can probably tell by the title and the, the montage and whatnot but i'm on my way up for the opener of rifle season here in indiana you know every year we do a deer camp and the rut's in full swing right now so i'm excited because we're gonna have there's gonna be deer moving that's all i know as you guys know i've been hunting in ohio i've been hunting pretty hard every weekend and haven't made anything happen there yet but i'm still working on it we got about a 45 minute drive up here I'm gonna hang out with the guys and have a good time and hopefully someone will get it here. Alright guys, so I just turned onto the road, uh, I'm almost there, so I'm excited, if you can't tell, and I'm not even kidding you, on the way here I've literally counted 21 deer that I've seen, so that means they're moving, so that's good. Like I said, I'm almost here, so I'm going to pull in and get everything unloaded, and it's deer camp time, baby, let's go. Here we are, we're here. Alright guys, so it's like 11 p.m. right now. We're about to go to sleep and wake up in the morning. I'm hunting in a box plan tomorrow. So I'll have my tripod and get everything set up. So I haven't hunted the stand in a long time. So um, I'm excited for opening day tomorrow. We'll see if we have a good morning. So I'll get you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is opening day right now. It's about 5.45 right now. And I'm obviously you know, getting everything ready. Shooting lights at like 7.01. So we're getting ready right now. I'm gonna head out to the stand here in a minute and see if we can see any deer today.
this is out in front of me and there's a tree line that runs right there over here to my right is the edge of the CRP field and there's a trail right here and this is where that deer was right out there and it just went into the woods there's a trail over there that goes in then you can see into the woods a little bit through back here then back behind me you can see in through there too so I got shots through there so I can see quite a bit but it would be better if this blind was a little raised up more because it's kind of hard to see through that CRP field I mean as you can see I barely saw the buck that just went right through there and I reckon it was a small deer but still I'm gonna keep sitting here and probably get down around 10 10 30 so I guess we'll see if we see any more deer Alright guys, so it's about 10.13 right now. I didn't get down to go to breakfast. I haven't seen any more deer, so I'll pick you guys on once I get back. Alright guys, so uh, nobody shot a deer this morning. Uh, we just had breakfast and we were taking a nap and just waiting for like 2.30 to come around and we'll probably get back in the stand. Uh, Rudy drew for where we're going to go to uh, sit tonight, so I'm hunting a tree stand that's pretty close by. My dad hunted there this morning and he said he saw quite a bit of deer, so... We'll see what we can see and I'll be able to bring my camera arm. Hopefully we'll see a lot of deer. I'll have a good evening hunt and potentially kill something. So we'll go take about an hour nap or so and then probably get out in the stand and do some more hunting. Here we go. I think it's just a spike. It is pretty tall though. This is back behind me. There's still that doe out there. Or one of them. There was three of them. He shot one. One ran away. And then this one's still out there. I believe he's getting down or something. Might push that deer over towards me.
she went away, but now she's back. It's about 4.34 right now. Got a little over an hour left of daylight. So far I've seen 11 deer, but hopefully I should still be seeing more this last hour. It was tend to be the best time. Just wanted to give you guys an update and we'll see if I see anything else tonight. right there. It's a nice deer. It's very far away though. My cousin said there's a shooter back there, but I can't see it because there's a bunch of trees in the way.
All right, guys, well, as you guys can tell, it's the next day. I haven't done an interview yet. It's like 8.30 right now. Shooting light was at like 7.02. So we've been here for a good bit of time, but as you guys can tell, uh, my uncle just shot that buck that came out right over here. I don't know if I got it on camera or not, but I was just ready to shoot, so I didn't really worry about the camera because uh, to try and get the deer down. But it's bedded down over here, and its head is still up. My cousin shot at it again to try and get it down, and it can't get up, so we know where it's at and where it's bedded at. So I think we're just gonna give it time and maybe try and put another one in it, but then right after that my uncle shot again and he shot a doe. And it was over here to my right. So we got some deer that have been shot. I don't know about down for sure, but they've definitely been shot. So we're gonna keep an eye out and hopefully we'll be able to get these deer down. Let's go. That's the deer my uncle shot. It's bedded down over there, it's still alive. I think so. It was that old one from the half wreck from yesterday. Good. Oh, thank you, Lord. I don't even know what to say. That's awesome. Here, literally, last night, my dad, my brother, my uncle, and my cousin, both, all of them saw that deer and were trying to shoot it. But, no one can make the shot. This is getting real dark. My cousin texted me, said buck in between us because he's hunting right over there. So I was like, what? So I turned and looked and I saw him right there like 15 yards behind me. So I had to carefully get my gun and everything ready and then I started recording and he went out into the swamp and then I couldn't get a shot. So he came back around, shot him in an opening back there and then I hit him. I couldn't tell where I hit him. I knew I hit him good and he stumbled, came over here and then he like lay down and then when he stood up I shot him straight on but I believe I hit him in the lungs or the heart 
and uh, I heard he made, made a weird running noise. Now he's, I'm pretty positive he's dead, so laying right here like 20 yards, so. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, that's all I got to say. God is good. He's an old mature buck. His one side's good, the other side's like a half rack. It's like a, like just straight up looks like a unicorn on that side, so. Eventually go down there and get our hands on him, so. I'm gonna wait a little bit for now, though. But let's freaking go, boys. Guys, so I would say I've already walked up on it as you saw from the GoPro footage. But uh, I'm bringing the big camera out to show you. I was right. I said he stopped moving. He stopped moving. Here he is, right here. Like I said, this one side's good, and this other side's just like a little point coming out. But he's an old deer and he's stanky. Tell you that. Here's some blood in there. So I believe that was my first shot. He was quartering two. Shot him there, and then the second time when I shot him, I guess I hit him in the neck. But he's dead, so. Yep. There he is. Third buck ever. Freaking go. Thank you, Lord. Let's. I love this stuff. Alright. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Alright guys, so we just left deer camp and we're gonna go to the processor and I'm gonna get it caped so I can get it mounted and then get the meat and everything so um, probably won't film anything there but hopefully I'll get my cave. I'm not sure if I'll get to keep it today or if I'll have to come back for it but I'll uh, keep you guys updated but we're gonna go to the processor and get everything done so I'm not sure what I'm doing after this so I guess I'll just pick you guys up when I get the chance. So it's the next weekend. Uh... Last weekend I tried to take my deer to the processor and they were full so we had to bring it back to the farm and put it in the freezer and we're gonna cape it out and get all the cuts all done and we're just gonna do my deer here so I'm back this weekend then later tonight I'm going hunting with my brother. I'll show you guys the freezer and the deer in there. This is my deer right here and then that's my uncle's deer back there. So there's, as you can see they're just hanging up in here. Yeah so we're gonna get these all butchered today and get them all taken care of so probably won't show any of it YouTube doesn't like that kind of stuff so I just wanted to give you guys an update of what we're doing with the deer probably get back to you guys once we're done and once we got all the meat cut up got this cooler back full of with deer meat with my deer and I'm about to take it to the processor and, and get all the good stuff from it like jerky summer sausage snack sticks all that good stuff I already kicked out my deer and it's at the taxidermy right now I didn't film it but I promise it is. I'm gonna take this meat to the processor, and that's it with the deer.